Hi. Hello. Good Monday to you. Good, good Monday to you all and to your followers. How are you doing today? We are doing good. Glad to have you here. Are you Yay. having a good Monday or is it an okay Monday? Actually, just my Monday get better right now. Like, I'm, I'm so, so excited. <laughs> <laughs> Excitement makes you feel good? Yes, sure. Are you also a little nervous or doing all right? You can tell from my voice, right? I'm, I'm not like little nervous. I'm. It's okay. Uh, You're doing fantastic. Oh, <laughs> so where are you from? I'm, I'm from Sudan. Sudan, all East, right. Northeast yeah. Africa. Yes. Yes. Close to uh, Somalia. No, next to Ethiopia, next to Egypt. Ethiopia. I yes. see. <laughs> we have a uh, border with Egypt and uh, with the Shad and all, a lot of like African country. Yes. <laughs> People forget sometimes how big Africa is, I think. Yes, actually, we were the biggest country in Africa before mm -hmm. we separated from our southern part. So, uh, mm -hmm. And the countries are very big. The Netherlands compared is nothing. We are tiny. <laughs> yes, like we have like one million um, kilometer. Of, I think we are the biggest uh, country on the Africa. Also, we have the river, mm. which is the longest river in the world. So <laughs> I can imagine. Yes. Yes. I so, wish uh, you, if you can like visit Sudan, but right now we have conflict. So mm, it's, it's tough. To there. I yeah. see. Yes. It is so what tough. do you think about the English in Sudan? People have good English? um recently like i think they get um more like uh, uh, involved with english because a lot of parents like just pay attention to their kids knowing english and know their importance in life and it, mm -hmm. uh, it became like number one language so i think a lot of schools uh, teach english like from kindergarten right now but um, unfortunately for me, I started learning English <laughs> in the university, so... <laughs> well, your English sounds good. It sounds like you've been practicing. Yes, actually, I follow you like since one and year right now, I believe, or nine months, nine months, I think so. Yes, I follow you. I follow your videos and I like your challenges and all of that stuff. Like, I'm so uh, glad to hear that. I hope yeah. it uh, helped you out too. <laughs> Actually, a lot. Like, um, you always uh, be kind to our shortage in, like, in English. Just um, always say, advise us to be consistent. I believe the consistency is the key for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> it doesn't matter if you decided to take like two hours English per day, per day to practice. <laughs> Even if the two minutes, it will help you. It's like a continuous pro learning process. So we have to enjoy the journey, be patient with ourselves, and give ourselves the credit that we are willing to know um, another language, actually. Yeah, absolutely. Mother, yes, Realize that anytime you speak, you do it in a language that's not native to you, and you need to learn. So yes. mistakes are great. Mm -hmm. You My sound like a teacher almost. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I'm so happy you just It's great my advice. Name. I hope people are listening. Yes, because like, do you know what? I just practiced like speaking English three months ago. I uh, at the beginning I saw that I have to learn more word, but mm -hmm. as I continue this journey, uh, I noted that it's so important how many words you know. It's important how you use it. Like you have Absolutely. to use, you have to use your word. So if I said like I know the awareness, it's okay to know the meaning, but how you will put it in the sentence and how you will improve your fluence and how do you want to deliver your uh, thoughts? Because yes. for for like to be bilingual or trilingual or as much right. as language as you know, you will think in your mother tongue it will be difficult <laughs> to just translate no you have to know how the native speaker use the word in like daily active uh, 
like daily basis. Mm -hmm. So like I really enjoy that learning English, uh, getting to know the culture. And um, I'm from Sudan, yes, but I came to uh, USA recently. Uh, so that's why I started practicing like um, just three months ago. And mm -hmm. I can feel the difference actually. I can feel the difference between me just knowledge, knowing the language and me practicing and like just be in the culture Absolutely. and enjoy it. Like you have to enjoy it. Don't rush yourself. Don't push yourself. Don't be like um, tough on yourself. Just I mean, that's the best way to learn. You're yes. enjoying it and you're you have English all around you. So that mm -hmm. helps out a lot actually yes so and one of the things that like uh, benefit me the most your slang um, challenges and the oh. songs you put uh, sometimes I go back to the songs I've, I search for the lyrics so um, like it really it's a great way to learn yes. English Absolutely. yes you advise it and also like uh, you being um, going to China and trying to learn also this um, language, culture, you have a lot of respect for other culture. I really like your vibe. And I would like to thank you from my like bottom of my heart for doing this. Um, I would love to support you and to support the community. And I know a lot of people like in the chat right now, they thinking the same about you. You just uh, make the world a better place. I don't like to be like, <laughs> you know, uh, sound. Um, I don't know what it's called. It's okay. It's my pleasure to do. Yes, but I, just like um, the world will be better if we always give the good vibes and help each other, respect our boundaries, I believe respect that our too, culture. Yes. yes, and just respect. Uh, uh, each other the way we are. You don't have to push anything. You don't have to talk in politics. You don't have to talk religious. Just accept the human being as human being. And that's what you do. Like, I do learn English from you, but I do uh, learn a lot of things else, like the acceptance Great. of others. Great. And I totally I, agree with you. I just think other cultures are super interesting. It's something you don't know, and you can learn a lot from someone. So why not listen to them instead yes, of judging them? Absolutely, like every human being matter. Like you're not just uh, here for nothing. No, no, no. You have the role, and you have message, and you have to search for who you are deep down, and mm -hmm. uh, stick with your beliefs and all of that. So, I you really got appreciate it. And you got it all figured out. I'm sure in half a year you will be a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> I would love. I would love to. Uh, like teach the other immigrants or like um, people who from my mother tongue like Arabic and just want to learn English I would love to help them mm -hmm. because like when you start something new you need help of other just the compassion and um, the positive vibe and just the acceptance you know you got it yes, yes. yes. it's yes. not that difficult to have positive vibes I feel like so Thank you so much for sharing that with us. I appreciate it. And you have a good day. And thank you I, guys for giving me these opportunities. Mm, and, we hope you have a great day too and have a good time in our community. Well, thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good one. See you around.